With a pair of armed robbers still on the loose tonight, the normally quiet city of Fountain continues to experience a violent year. Cardio News Channel 13's Alexis Dominguez joins us live at police headquarters, that is, in Fountain now. Alexis? Lauren Heather, so far this year, Fountain police tell me there have been at least five shootings that they've responded to where people have been injured or have died, and there are other crimes that are up here as well. Fountain's population sits at 31,000, growing by 1,000 people since 2018. Crime has also grown. Just Monday, Fountain police released these photos of two suspects wanted in connection with its most recent armed robbery at a bank and assaults are up too. In May of this year, two teens were shot at Fountain's 7-Eleven. In July, a shooting between people in two cars near Fountain Mesa Road and Lake Avenue shut down several blocks where neighbors spoke to us. And then we heard the, the booms. Uh, my wife immediately said to me, she said, is that fireworks? I said, I, I don't think so. Later that month, police also responded to an accidental shooting where a 12-year-old girl was killed. Police said it was accidental, but never clarified if she shot herself or if someone else did. One neighbor at the time of the shooting described her shock. I think it's crazy. When I was told about it, I was so flabbergasted because it's so quiet around here, you know? Right. It doesn't make a lot of sense. The FBI cites crimes could be in many communities due to the economic downturn, citing unemployment, the pandemic, and stress. Now, Fountain is considered the 28th safest city, still much safer than Colorado Springs. Reporting live outside the Fountain Police Department, I'm Alexis Dominguez, Caradio News Channel 13.